Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 3, Episode 13. In the last episode, um, the festival preparations were underway. Uh, a lot of progress was being made. Rumuru decided to go on kind of a day out, getting getting some stuff done, getting some tasks done, going to see some people. Uh, a little more, large portion of the episode was him uh, meeting with Guard, his uh, merchant friend, who uh, they were kind of scheming up loads of ways basically just to make money make good money. Uh, they were talking about charging uh, the nobles VIP. Um, they were saying like the, the peasants or the poorer people um, they'd get into like the stadium for free. Um, but obviously along the way they'll need like, you know, places to stay, places to eat, other places to get entertainment from, stuff like that. So they're, they're making money. They're, they're making making smart moves to make money. Um, and then yeah, he's kind of basically just put him in, entirely in control of all kind of like commerce and money making schemes for tempest to make people basically want to come back um, and then he said obviously you can also after all this move to tempest as well and run kind of the financial divi division or whatever he said um so yeah it was a very interesting episode there uh, very much looking forward to this one so as always guys if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well and let's go into this episode right now <laughs> you know, the saints. Didn't, didn't they de declare it as a draw though? Or is it just because these guys are allies? Yeah. Shit's crazy. Was that ever a doubt? Or is this guy just secretly dummy strong? Gazelle's a, an ally though, so... Hell nah. He was like one of his first allies, no? I still love the opening and ending now so much. Like, they really went out, went above and beyond for them. So good. Oh, to have a giant dire wolf that you can just roam around town on. What are these 2D ass crops behind him? That's hilarious. Oh, we get the martial arts tournament as well. That's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he even knows who he's talking to right now. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, I, I would. Not without Rimuru's position. <laughs> Just the man we were waiting for. Look at this little house. Have they just moved into his domain without asking, or...? Yeah, you hurt your hand doing that. Rimuru wouldn't care about them moving into his domain, right? And what, I mean, what's another demon lord living in Tempest? <laughs> Well, it depends how she asks it. <laughs> yeah, traitor. <laughs> yeah, he's had a rough day. You put them to sleep? <laughs> so they did their job, is what you're saying. Right. <laughs> so you've declared war. <laughs> She's such a pain in the ass. Does that... Oh, it leads to another labyrinth. Interesting. Oh, are they going to use the door to the labyrinth or the labyrinth as something for people to be, like, spending money on? The hell is this dope-ass looking place? Oh. All the bigwigs are coming. Is this the first time we're meeting her? I feel like I've seen her character before. <laughs> yeah, you didn't invite the queen. Like, I know this guy, but I don't think I've ever actually seen her character before. And it's like one of the friendliest nations going. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you pissed her off. <laughs> yeah, she just really wants to day out. <laughs> so, yes, she's absolutely coming with this time. I assume Rimuru. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> A certain someone. Mm, I wonder who that is. Is Eddie in, um, is that his daughter? Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to pay him a shitload just to become his sweet supplier. I bet he's going to relocate. <laughs> I do not actually, yeah. Like, it's a ma major problem. I mean, it's a major problem for the Empress. She's leading this man on. It's like, oh, your daughter would love these sweets. And I wasn't invited. <laughs> Bro's locked in. Got any information to do with his daughter? What was he doing when he went there? I forgot. Oh, eating sweets. Ooh, do not tell her that. Do not tell her that. <laughs> Bro's meant to be the tactician, you know. But of course she'd be going, right? She said she wanted to go last time. At this, at this rate, there's going to be so much royalty there, it's going to be crazy. I love that everybody says that. And then they meet him, and he's just like, oh, he's just a silly little guy, you know? Unless they meet him on the bad terms, then he's not a silly little guy. Which is fair. <laughs> yeah. What is she getting at here? That is crazy, actually. What a great location for a country. Eighty points. Out of 100? Damn. They lost out on that. Very. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Are these the only other welders we know of? <coughs> Obviously, apart from the ones that um, attacked Rimuru some time ago and are all dead, I think. Yeah, look at them getting told off. He's <laughs> sliding across the desk. <laughs> the way Rimuru speaks to other demon lords is so funny. That's true, and we're probably going to have some crazy fighters there. A dungeon? Ooh. Damn, that's cool. Yeah, having a dungeon in your, in your, like a, in your country is going to bring a lot of money in. Bro, he's got some smart ways of making money here. Like artificially making a dungeon as well as crazy. <laughs> An unemployed shut in. <laughs> Why would he not? Two gold coins. That much? I didn't think that would be much. 
You better, be you better make this the best damn dungeon you've ever seen. <laughs> Broke unemployed demon lord. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. They have refugees. Have them live in the labyrinth? So she can just straight up just boop, like, like in The Sims, just boop, move all these people. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Wow. <laughs> Same. The strongest of the demon lords? Are we sure about that? Yeah, the growing nose. Standing on the fucking ruler of the country is crazy. Alright, so that was Reincarnated as a Slime, Season 3, Episode 13. Once again, a very good episode. Um, it's I, I, I said in the last episode, I think, but like the meeting and kind of what the the negotiations basically that happened in the last episode, the same as this episode, were kind of a lot more engaging and fun to watch. I don't know why. I don't know, because they were in that that like that room again. Uh, and I said in the last episode that it was because he was outside of that room. But like he was in the room again this time and it just felt more lively and like I could focus exactly on more and like what's going on. And I liked seeing the progression of Tempest, especially with all the ways that Rimuru was thinking of making money. It was really cool. I can't wait to see all of these actually put into practice, like with the arena, with the dungeon, labyrinth, etc. Moving all the refugees into the labyrinth as well. Um, it's going to be really cool to see. But um, yeah, overall, a good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have an extra rest of your day, and peace out.